of life. Which one is this? RPO, LPO? RPO. Good. You want to make sure that the hip and the shoulder are in the same plane. So I am going to straighten this leg out so that it's nice and straight. We do have angled sponges. There's one up there. Up there. It's really large. I don't know if there's any smaller or more. yesterday, but it's it's easier for your patient to be elevated and to stay elevated. Hmm? She had it sitting right here, didn't she? Yeah, she took it out of her pocket. Oh, sorry. Your centering point for your obliques are going to be two inches of medial to the elevated ASIS and one and a half inches above the iliac crest. So I'm going to do the three fingers above the crest and then I'm going to bring it in. Here's her ASIS, right there. Sorry. I'm going to bring it in about two inches. So if three fingers are one and a half, then I'm going to go about four. About right there. And this arm either needs to be up, or you can bring it back however it is most comfortable for your patient. And that's over you said four fingers above? Yeah, uh, no, three fingers above, <laughs> four fingers from the ASIS. So oh, here's our ASIS. Okay. Three fingers above. Mm -hmm. 